What's up, YouTube? Yeah. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are sanitizing. I hope you guys are keeping safe in these hard times. So, I'm so grateful for you guys who participated in the previous Q&A. If you haven't yet watched the Q&A, here is a link somewhere. I'm putting a contact uh, card or a link on top. It will pop up just like any minute or it's already popped up. Go watch it. Tell me what you think. I also put a link at the end of this video. So, yeah. Before I even say anything, I just want to say guys, this, this is a story that I haven't told anyone in like a long time. The only people who know this story are the people who are at school with me. This story happened in 2016 when we were in grade 9 and it was October so it was very hot guys. So don't judge me. Don't judge me. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at me. Ish! Let's get into this video. Okay, so... I was at a school in Southern Province, and you, and if you know Southern Province, if you have been to Southern Province, guys, you just know how hot it gets in October. Hmm. It was hot that day, guys. I remember to term three, grade nine. We were almost writing our mocks. <laughs> was it almost? I think it was after. It, oh no, no, mock is in term two. Yeah, but hmm. we we're almost writing our final exams. So we're doing our preparations and our staffs. So. It was very hot that day. There's this place outside school called the stream. Okay, so our school practically was surrounded by streams. So when the stream dries up, when when one of these streams dry up, um, there's this part of the stream that was like deeper than the rest of the whole stream. So you'd uh, find water even if the stream has dried up. There's just it since it's deeper, so water is to like, oh, drain into it. So that's why boys go swim, chill, hang out. Of course, it was out of bounds. Don't even think maybe the school allowed it. Out of bounds. School warned us hundreds of times not to go there. They said if you go there, you can get expelled, you can die, you can what? But just know us, us from Siavunga, what can you tell us? As we grew up near a dam, we know how to swim, feed, yeah. Huh. So, <laughs> people used to go. And I told myself, okay, no, don't go. It's out of bounds. And. I just never used to feel comfortable. I used to be scared, guys. Call your parents, my parents, calling them, telling them that it's Chan. Hey. Have you ever slept outside? My garage. <laughs> All of my guard house. <laughs> um, and the crazy thing is that my older brother has never been expelled. So I never wanted to be the first one to break the cycle. Anyway, so people used to go, used to go, used to go, so I used to hear stories about it you know someone almost drowned this day, we laughed at him the other person almost passed out underwater, we laughed at them there was been a time when one of my friends was drowning then my other friend, psychopathic friend Niza, if you're watching this, I know you're watching this Niza is a psychopathic friend who did that and you know it's deep down your heart Niza, one of my friends, grabbed his feet like, my friend was drowning, car. Then someone jumped in to save him. Now this person had asthma. So when they're trying to save him, the person who's drowning, to kick someone who's trying to save him in the chest, then the person faints in water. They put him out, revived him. So the second person jumping was Niza, the psychopath. <laughs> I love you, Niza. I love you too. <laughs> yeah, Niza jumped in. Yeah. Then jumped in, trying to save him. Even him, he does the same. Now, instead of him kicking Niza in the chest, he pushed Niza under him. So that you can step on him and like go up. Now Aniza, now it is down and trying to help someone who's struggling to push him down. Do you know what Aniza did? Grabbed his feet and started walking towards the deeper end of the stream. <laughs> Niza was underwater while doing this, guys. Underwater. He just told me that if I die, I'm not dying alone. Okay, it was like such a crazy, crazy experience. Yeah, but, <laughs> but yeah, this just survived in the end. I don't know how I was in there, but this is my story when I was there. So, this uh, this one afternoon, it was a slow afternoon. I don't know that it was. A, I think it was a Saturday. No Saturday than Friday. Slow afternoon. Everyone was just by the domes, very hot. Everyone was like, ah, guys, today we're going to the stream. We're going to the stream. We're going to the stream. So me as usual, I never used to care about the stream. I just someone convinced me. I don't know who convinced me. I don't know what demons entered me that day. But someone convinced me and I really wanted to go. Because I was just so curious. I just wanted to experience it. Yeah. I've been convinced. I asked some of my friends, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. People are like, no, because we cannot go to the stream. I was like, ah, remain kids, youngsters. What can you tell us? 
Me, I'm going. As I'm going to check my ass on the yacht outside. Going to chill it in the waters. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 no! <laughs> oh stop for a lot. <laughs> Lord help me. So plans uh, plans started. So people used to move in groups. First group went. Second group went. Me was in the last group. Last group started off. We went probably probably there was. But, and when you're leaving our school, main gate. If you've been to my school, main gate. There's a graveyard on your left. So you're supposed to bypass the graveyard. Then you turn. So it's like the stream is opposite the graveyard, practically. But it can distance, not like directly opposite, but opposite, then you move a bit this side. Yeah. So we reached the stream, found it. Lila, there are people from other schools, day scholars, because I was a border. So borders, day scholars, people even brought towels, phones, music, and people even brought my snacks, snacks. So it was like a chill, it was like a beach party, practically. <laughs> So we started playing games, games, games. Now the game that we're playing was you divide each other in two. I don't know if you have played, some of you who are at uh, private schools, I don't know if you know this game, but as what government schools, guys, sheep, sheep, come home. I'm sure everyone knows it. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. We, you practically try to get a member from one team, then you bring them over to your team. Then you baptize them, then they become part of you. Now that baptism process is what used to make people drown. So. We tried, we tried, we tried, we started playing, side playing, side playing. They caught me. Because me, I was like really tiny in high school. Okay, as you can see, I'm already I'm slender, but I was smaller. Even like this tripod stand that I'm using is like taller than what I used to be. I was tiny and small. Yeah! Hmm. With a cute face though. They put me. Boom, boom. They said, splashing me water, splashing me water, like say baptizing me now. Boof. It wasn't like normal baptism. It was like baptism for making you drown. I just I don't have makeups I drank. I saw that water was brown guys. Thank God I never got this entry. Ha! They say baptizing me, baptizing me, baptizing me, baptizing me. Now I say feeling like okay, this is more than playing. Someone has to kill me here. There's someone behind this. Baptize me, the baptize me. I just like feeling as if okay, my life is about to leave my body. <laughs> Have you ever been upset? You just walk, guys, leave me. And so when I just did that, no one left me. They started pushing me towards the deeper end. Why that other friend was pulling the guy's legs? They started pushing me towards the deeper end while they splashing water me, so I couldn't breathe and I couldn't move. I started panicking. Do you know what being scared is? Then that, thank God I could swim. So I went under, swam to the bank and came up. Otherwise, I would have died just there <laughs> the next thing i'm seeing people didn't stop after almost making me drown my eyes were red i could barely breathe after just doing that to me they got another guy one of my friends they said baptizing him also now he means like, screaming you guys these things people die these things people die <laughs> it was funny it's not funny it is you then there are these fat kids where they were making they're doing like cannonballs when they just jump in the pool, poof, they want to splashes all over us. It was like, it was mad. They also put this fat kid, so baptizing him. His eyes became red. And he used to curse a lot. So he just dip him water. You guys are about, poof, you, your mother's a poof. They're like, it just, you could tell this guy is almost dying. Okay, the way we were playing that day, those days was just dangerous, guys. Have you ever been underwater? Even not, okay, here, guys, I'm almost died if i didn't want to swim thank god i knew how to swim otherwise i would have died by now this video didn't even be made hmm. yeah so the story didn't end here i almost drowned but i went outside to catch to catch some fresh air some fresh air so ah my lappy lads guys let me not lie me i was scared i was dead and to just like so much water was in my chest. I just like coughing out everything. Like practically vomiting water. I was like, mm. guys, if I baked, I was scared. They never entered the water again. People started making each other drown again. Just like fun, fun. Now when we're done, going back, one of our friends carried a towel with him. When do you... When do it becomes... The bougies to bougies. Why would you carry a towel when you're going to somewhere? It's, somewhere, it's legal. And there's a lot to go out first. Two. 
swimming 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 you have no business swimming in the stream guys no business at all so we're passing by the graveyard find that uh, we're asked when the last no we're in the second group this time yeah second group then the guy who had the tower was in the first group so he was passing then the headmaster was at the funeral by the graveyard he just saw someone with the tower passing <gasps> first group and so it was a chi group chi guru chi doing you know vo they passed Second group was us. The dopies. Ha! <laughs> Where the dopies reside. We passed us. No one had anything. Third group passed as well. So I was thinking it's school, man. I school. I was dead. My eyes were red. I barely breathed, slept. Five minutes. Just after five minutes, someone came and everyone who went to the stream, they are calling you by the administration. Jesus! Hey! <laughs> ah. So, I was scared like scared and i wanted quite face then i was like mm -mm. they can go snitch you and so when they snitch you, it becomes waste so i was like okay let me just go we went found prefects there thank god you never found the headmaster himself if you found the headmaster himself i'm telling you he's going to beat us up and make us wake so we reached cup in the administration my heart pounding almost it but my heart was in my mouth i could feel it doom 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 huh. Then the same guy who was shouting, these things people die, these things people die. I was standing next to him. I was like, guys, let's pray. Excellent, let's pray. Please, please, let's pray. Let's pray to God that if God helps us through this, if we don't get expelled, we'll never go back to that place again. We started prayer and devotion just there, just the two of us, worshiping chorus, main prayer, intercession, closing, closing prayer and a closing chorus. Full prayer session, money, just by the administration. As soon as we stayed by the stairs, we prayed and I was scared. I was scared. That was my great. My brother was in grade twelve. Then, well, they got head boyfriend. That since my brother's in grade twelve, the head boy was so grade twelve, obviously. So he came to me. You know, your brother's never done anything like this. See, so you'd be the first one to be expelled. <laughs> now we asked. Now let my heart, my BP, BP boy, BP up my name. I saw if I had a BP machine that day. Mm. Have you ever been scared? You yeah, had scared for your life, scared for education. To be honest, I didn't even thinking about school. The only thing I was scared about there was my parents. Very strange now. My parents beat. They don't care how old you are. Huh. They don't care. Whether you're taller than them, they just make you sleep. Then they now whack you. Hey. It's not things. <clears throat> yeah. So, thank God the headmaster never came. He was caught up at the funeral. Because from the barrier that got the funeral house. So it instructed prefects to make us wake. We started cleaning all the classes in school. Can you imagine cleaning all the classes? I was given all the grade 8 classes. And grade 8 had like 4 classes. And each class had like 40 people. And how each cleaner classes, you get the you get the chairs, put them on the book racks. Book rack, book rack, book rack. As some of you call them borax. I don't know why you call them borax, but it's book rack, yeah. So, you put them, you align them. But there are like five lines. You align them. Da, 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 da. After that, you sweep, mop, clean the windows. Ugh, guys, plus the, the capacity outside and the drainage and the pavement. Grade 8 section. And behind, of course. As we waked, when I waked, I made sure I waked, I didn't even want to do it because I used to be trouble some kids. I used to do it punishments, I never cared. Go ahead, mama. Prefects hated me, but just no bad boy. So, eh, eh. so we waked. As soon as if it's over, the weekend's passed. Sorry for that, I was on a phone call. <laughs> the weekend's passed. Monday came now, they called us to the, <laughs> they called us to the office. That was just the headmaster. It was our house master. Now to make us scrub the walls at the dormitories, guys, just for swimming. They wouldn't even ask us, no, did any of you hurt themselves? Did any of you hurt yourselves? In fact, I hurt myself, I forgot to tell you. I hurt myself here on my toes. There was this sharp rock. The time when I was telling you I was trying to fight for my life, climbing, I had to come out by the banks because it's deep. So I was supposed to climb up out of the stream. I scratched my toes. My foot became slightly swollen. <laughs> Guys, we scrubbed the walls. And that's the end of my story. I've been through a lot in high school. 
Comment next time trying to see which other things I've been through. Maybe next time, or maybe the next video I'll make will be the time when we were actually haunted. Guys, that night was so real. Fell into sleep, praying all night. Anyway, until next time, guys. Catch you. Oh, catch you next time. Keep safe. Subscribe. Like. Comment. Who's calling this time? I'm not even done with my outro. Anyway, peace out, guys. I love you. Share this video with everybody on your contact list. Let's get 4,000 watch hours.